I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on finding median from group data. In this particular case, we have taken up the class group which gives you the inclusive form. So I'll explain you this point as we go along solving the question. The question here is, find the median of the following data representing yearly income in thousands of dollars to number of persons. So income is given here in the interval 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, 90 to 99, 100 to 109, 110 to 119, thousands of dollars per year. A number of persons drawing that income in that organization are 5, 15, 20, 30, 28 respectively. Now, it is important to understand that whenever we have a data where it is kind of inclusive, we have to convert it to the form which is exclusive, right? How do we do that? We check the difference between these two numbers, which is in this case 1, we add and subtract half of that. So here h is 1. So we'll add and subtract half of h, which is 1 divided by 2 or 0 0.5. You get an idea, right? So that helps us to form the class group, right? So this is called the class group. So whenever you have a class group, it should be given in exclusive form. So in this case, we could write this as 59.5 69.5 you get an idea right and similarly we'll just continue with a 69.5 to 79.5 79.5 .5, 79.5 .5, 89.5 89.5 and this is 99.5 to 109.5 109.5 to 119.5. So we add this column of class group and to find median we have to have cumulative frequency column. So we'll add next column for cumulative frequency. So let's do that. So for the first one it is 5. Add 15 we get 20. 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 30 is 70, 70 plus 20 is 90, 90 plus 8 is 98, right? So, so we know n is equal to 98 and n by 2 is half of 98 which is 49.5 which is 49, right? So half of 98 is 49. So what we get here is a value which is 49th value of our interest. So when we are looking for a median, we can start with our formula, which is median equals to L plus N by 2 minus F divided by F times H, right? So don't confuse this H with what I used here. This is the class interval. Okay. Now, 49. So check your cumulative frequency. Where will 49 lie? So just above 40, that is this. Correct? So we are into this group. So that becomes the modal group, right? So, so that is the modal group. Now that gives you all the values, right? So the lower limit is 89.5, as you can see from here. So we can just substitute these values and calculate. So let me write down. So L is 89.5. N by 2 is 49. F is the frequency just before this, which is 40. F, the frequency of this particular modal group, which is 30. And H is the class interval 
of 10, right? So it is 10. Upper limit minus lower limit. Substituting these values, we get the median as equal to 89.5. It has to be more than that, correct? Plus how much more? 49th element we want. We already have 40, right? So 9 more. Equally distributed amongst 30, right? And interval here is of 10. So that is how we can get our value, correct? So let's use the calculator to calculate this. 49 minus 40, which is 9, divided by 30 times 10 and add 89.5 to get the answer in decimals as 92.5. So 92.5 is our median. So we get our answer as 92.5. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Remember, if you are given a data which is like inclusive type, then you should make it like exclusive. That is a major step. And that makes huge difference since you can see how the values will change, right? So I hope that helps you to understand why at times we use something 0.5 instead of the straight data given to us, right? Feel free to write to your comments, share my videos, and if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.